Hi everyone, how are you? Today we're going to be talking about the UAE's Mission to Mars Hope Probe, which is an effort that is brought to us by Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center in Dubai. The center collaborated with Arizona State University, University of Colorado, and with the University of California at Berkeley to create a probe and the first ever probe to examine Martian atmosphere. So it will examine both the lower and the upper atmosphere of Mars. Uh, previously, most missions to Mars have been focused on the topography and the geology of Mars. This one is very unique because it's the first ever that will give us a clear picture of how weather happens, how seasons occur, and what causes a lot of these dust storms and temperature changes within Mars's atmosphere. In addition, one of the focuses of this probe is to examine why hydrogen and oxygen escape the Martian atmosphere and go into space to try to better understand that these two ingredients that are very important for water, why do they escape a Martian atmosphere? So this will be the first ever mission to do that. And so we're very excited about that. And it's the first ever mission that is launched to Mars by an Arab nation. So it's very interesting and I'm really looking forward to it. They are planning to launch July 15th, but have a window of a month until August to be able to launch. The Hope Probe will be launching from Japan and they're gonna use the 2A202 rocket, which has two solid rocket boosters, a main engine in the first stage, and then a upper stage, which has the probe attached to it. The boosters will burn and once they're depleted they are going to be jettisoned at which point the rocket and the main stage will continue. The first stage will separate from the upper stage. The upper stage and the probe are in orbit. It will remain in Earth orbit until the alignment with Mars, at which point the upper stage will fire to enable it to reach escape velocity, 11 kilometers per second, in order for it to go on its journey to Mars. Once they reach that speed, they'll be able to coast for seven months until they reach Mars. Once they get to Mars, obviously their speed is gonna be so large that they need to actually decelerate. They're gonna to attempt to decelerate the probe and slingshot to try to grab Mars's gravity so that it gets into Martian orbit. That orbit will be an elliptical orbit approximately 43,000 kilometers on one end and 20,000 kilometers on the other end. I have approximated what the elliptical orbit is going to look like. So it's going to look like somewhat like this. It's not exactly the same. The idea is in the first initial weeks, they're going to be doing a lot of testing. Following that, they're going to collect as much information about the Martian atmosphere using an imager and two spectrometers an infrared spectrometer and an ultraviolet spectrometer. The mission duration is one Martian year, which is approximately 1.9 Earth years, so like about two years, and they have the potential to extend if everything goes well. So this is gonna be a very exciting opportunity for the scientific community to collect as much data as possible, and it is the first ever probe sent to Mars uh, to examine Martian atmosphere, and also the first probe to be sent to another planet by an Arab nation. So this is gonna be very exciting and we are looking forward to a perfect launch, hopefully July 15th, next Wednesday. I hope this video was informative and I hope you guys learned some stuff.